What's up everybody, welcome back to Westland Survival. I've been gradually annoying the bandits and they're here to attack me again. In the meantime, I've also been doing a bit of work on the defences. So if you see, we've got our barbed wire going all the way around the front there. And going all the way around there. And then we've got spikes there. Also done a bit of work on the storage of the base. We've now got two big boxes. And we are completely maxed out on the medium boxes as well. <clears throat> Voice crack there. And we are also maxed out on the small boxes. So currently we are completely maxed out on storage. Which is a little bit of a shame. Now in order to get the bandits attacking us. I do need to go out onto the main map. And then come back in. I think. From what I can tell. Oh yeah. So I actually have information about this. You do not have to log on dead on seven hours or have the bandits destroy everything what you can do is just have them angry at you and then they will spawn in the next time you come back to the game so they will not attack if you are not there hello thug so uh, this is wave number three and then it is the fourth wave that will have apparently some goons attacking us as well uh, is there another one up there? There is. Gradually break it down. Oh, what's he doing? We don't want to let them escape because then we're not going to get over to their bandit stash. Now, where are they? Oh, here they are. They've pushed through. Oi, don't break that. Now, have we got any more? I feel like they're going to be around somewhere. Oh, one thing I've discovered that is incredibly annoying. The bandits, um, hello, what are you doing over here? Well, that was a little bit weird. Damage dealt, thug, 250, 200, 200, 212, 258, 225. Awesome. Rest in peace, thug. Is that the, that is, that's the armoured cap. You know what, I am pretty happy with that because the armoured cap, that costs to make two steel plates. And then to upgrade it and get its full durability back, that will just cost three steel. So if we can get a full set of armoured stuff... No, we won't. I think we'll probably end up getting a few caps from each of them, maybe. So we're just going to need to repair these. You know what? I'll do that off camera. Because I doubt you want to watch that. Reinforce the... Other. And then jeans, and we can reinforce the jeans. Yeah. So we can reinforce the jeans to restore their durability. There's the map, bandit stash coordinates, perfect. Let's take these, let's take the jeans, reinforce the other boots, can't make them any stronger. And take that armored cap, drink up some water, and I'll we'll take the jeans. Right, oh yeah, and of course there's this one dead over here as well. But I don't think we're gonna be able to, ex uh, yeah, we got his inventory. Um, you know, he hasn't actually got anything extra, really, that I want to take. Right, storage in here. We're going to want to just drop off absolutely everything before we head over to the bandit stash. Apart from an axe. Now, the loot doesn't improve over time. However, the loot is randomised. So you will be getting different stuff each time. The last time I was there, I didn't notice this at the time. But I actually got one of the nice fancy shotguns. Right, I'll jump onto my horse because I'm pretty sure I'm out of energy. There's going to be the one guard over there that we kill and then we'll be able to loot it up. Indians have rich mythology. Surprisingly many myths are not fiction. Bandits loot stash. There we go. Now nah, we can't run over there. We've got to ride. I was at the spirit cave. Not the spirit cave. The my brain's died. Canyon trials earlier. I have never once taken part in the canyon trials because I just haven't had enough loot or gear to be able to do it. But I've spent today grinding. I've got myself loads of wood and I'm starting working on getting charcoal and everything set up. Now, why does my horse sprint across the entire location and wait there? That's a bit weird if you ask me. Hey, watchman. And you're dead. Sorry. That was a bit mean of me. We're going to leave the main box to last. Make sure we get all the trees and everything beforehand. This game is so dark at night. I mean, I know it's night time, so it's going to be dark, but jeez. So it's 
five hits? Yeah, it's five hits to break a tree here. I like it. Eight hits and ten hits to break things is way too many. Uh, ooh, that's a bit of copper. I'll take that. I think that's the first time I've gotten copper from here. I still haven't got the improved foundry made because it needs... I think it's a full stack of wires and I've been trying not to use all of my wire because I need them for defences. And as you saw, the iron stakes, even though they're, I'd say, semi-expensive to make, they get destroyed so easily. So you really are going to need to defend your base multiple layers of defences. And at the moment, bandits can open your doors. No idea why, but they can. So I'm also going to have to be working on a complete redesign from a base to try and counteract that. Right then, let's get the main loot box in the bandit's messy house. Uh, nothing that good this time. Two colts, another set of this armor, some herbs. I mean, it's nice bits, but I would much prefer some of the other items. But you know what? Since that cost me absolutely nothing to get, I'm happy with it. I'm going to drop a few bits off in my pony. I'm calling this a pony now. I am aware it's a horse before you start attacking me in the comments. Uh, what was it left in there? I think some glycerol? Something like that. What have we got? There is still... Yep, glycerol, that, and that. And you know what? I'll take the bridle as well. Just in case we get another use for it in the future. Even though I've already got them. Right, I'll hop back over to the base, and I'll see you there. Right then, so for the base defences, this is where it's going to be getting a bit tricky, because I've got this, my actual base built. Oh, I wish I could zoom out. I can't, can I? No. I've got the base built, and I built it right smack bam in the middle, so I can't really expand to one side to make a pen. So what I might have to do is, for example, take my stable, and we'll put it there. I would have ideally wanted it closer to my front door, but obviously because of the cart there, can't build around there. And then what I would like to do is build around it. However, I wanted this to be a layer of defences, so that makes it a pain to do, and I can't do it on the other side either. Ooh, but, with it actually still here, can I make a ring of foundations around it? Hmm. Maybe, actually, this might work. Might work. So what I would do is make basically a separate, an outer wall around my entire base. So I'd have it there, like this for example, going all the way around. And it's just annoying because then it means I've got that one little gap there and then the walls. So right, what I'm going to do is take a few minutes off camera to try and sort through this all and come up with some kind of design that I like, just out of twig for now, and then work on upgrading it. So I'll see you all in a moment.
Welcome back, people. So, I'm mostly done with the redesigning. I hope you enjoyed that little time lapse there. Oh, hang on. We can't have this. We've got some of our some of our lovely furniture out there. Let me, um, furniture mode. Grab that. Stick that there. Grab that one. And stick that there. You know what? Let's, um, let's have them both like that. There we go. And then we'll stick our... Yep, that's good there. Stick our meat dryer there. Put our well up. Hmm, where can we fit the well? We can fit the well there. And let's put this one here. Perfect. And we'll put that. Oh, you know what? I actually like the well to go in this spot here. Excellent. And then we will rotate that. So, what I've done, I've surrounded the entire base with these twig walls, and I've even put in a little section here so we can get to the cart, because if you didn't know, on Westland you can actually build in front of the cart like that, which is something that would have made my life so much easier on Last Enough. But look how much space this cart takes up. I'm pretty sure it takes up all that. Let me just try. Okay, so we can build in there. We can build there. Okay, so I was an idiot and actually accidentally shrunk this down more than I had to. Let me, um, let's fix this quickly. So if we demolish that one, that one, that one, hmm, yeah, and then just these corner ones here. Base redesigning takes a lot of resources. There we go. That's just brought us even more space out here. Ooh, let's bring that one back in. Let's put a doorway. Ah, oh, no, it's not going to let us. Oh, well. Let's shove a door right there. So we'll come out next to where the sheriff guy will be. Now, what I was considering is, should I put defences here? Or just straight up wall that in? You know what? Wall again in works. I think that works quite well. Requires basic floor. Okay, that doesn't mean requires basic floor. That means I ran out of wood in my inventory. No idea why it gives you that message, but it does. Now, uh, inventory wood. I should just be able to... Yeah. So this base designing doesn't really cost you anything apart from the wood for the foundations, because twig walls, you can just pick them all up instantly. So what we're going to do is stick on some walls... Like that, like that, Good block that one, and that end. Perfect. Right, now then, so we've got this nice section around here. Yeah, we do need this one here, because otherwise that corner won't work. So, when we... You know what, I'll, I'll show you. It's easier than trying to explain it. So let's leave the base. And ideally not die of thirst the whole time. Right, so, upon loading into your base, you will spawn in, once you have made it, at your welcome post, which is, let's see if we can find it, the spawn post here. Pretty cheap to make. For, yeah, pretty cheap to make. I'm not going to say for most people, that just is cheap to make. And then, you can leave. See, now, I can't leave, because I've completely blocked myself off from the exit. However, as I just showed you, I can interact with the horse here, and just click right to leave. That means that I do not need to have any doors at all available for the bandits. Because, as you know, the bandits can open your doors, which is incredibly annoying. But hey-ho, not the end of the world. If you design your base quite smartly. Which I'd like to say I have. There's probably, not well, definitely room for improvement. But I can fill this area with more defences. And even boxes if I wanted to. But... I am really happy with this. See, I've already got more space in there for upgrading my storage. So, the ra the bandits, I keep calling them raiders, bandits, when they come in, they're going to be faced with my line of barbed wire out the front, which they're going to run through, and then they're going to start breaking my twig walls, which isn't very nice, but twig walls, incredibly cheap to replace. I actually don't need that one there. Let's get rid of that, and let's put that there. Perfect. Patched it all up. 
So yeah, I'll just end up moving those bits of furniture around. So we'll spawn in here and we are never going to need to leave the map at the edges because every time we're just going to interact with the horse. And when I need to repair bits after they're broken, I'll just pick them up in furniture mode, place them down in here, and then repair them. I am actually really happy with how this has turned out. I was expecting it to be an utter disaster. Uh, let's have it like that so you can actually use the bucket to get the rope out of the well. Use the rope to get the bucket out of the well. I said that the wrong way around. Now, does my horse actually take up this much space? Yes, it does. Okay. It's a shame the horse doesn't actually go into the stable. That would have been useful if it did. Just free up a little bit more room. But yeah, I am genuinely really happy with this new design for a base. It is going to take a very long time, however, to get all the floors upgraded and the walls as well. But I think I'm going to start out by just focusing on getting all of the floors to level 2. That way, I'm not going to have wood getting wasted. So, for example, if I put all of the walls to level 1 and then upgrade some of them to level 2, when the bandits come, they're just going to break the level 2 walls. Whereas if I do the floors first, then they're not going to break the floors every single time. And because I'm going to be farming resources to do this, I'm going to be angering the bandits quite a bit. So let's do this quickly. So I think we'll start with upgrading probably this corner. See, I'm not sure if I like this area here. Because, hmm. I'd have to bring it in one more that way which gives me a very narrow walkway there, which is what I didn't like. But I could just put the defences along there. Nah, you know what? I've done it. I'm going to stick to it. Worst comes to it, I'll have to tear it down again. But I'm sure that won't be the end of the world. There we go. We've already started the process of doing our floors. Now we've got all of our lovely furniture and our nice boxes. So I didn't realise this. These boxes are maxed at 20. That is nowhere near enough. So if you look here, max 20 of them, 20 out of 20 of them, and then you got the large boxes, big box, which are not limited. You can have as many of them as you like. However, maple is currently not in the game. So you can't have as many of them. However, there's been quite cheeky here, and you can buy the, the um, big box for £4. I bought one of them and then realised that I actually had some maple from the old daily login rewards. So I've got that sitting there. Alright, I think what I want to do now is try and get my industrial improved foundry built. I almost called it my industrial um, forge, but that's from last end. That's not from last enough, that is from Ark. Alright, so we need 20 of them, 20 of them, 20 of them. E, I've actually got the resources. The uh, no, come on, don't do this. I spent ages sorting out my organisation this morning. I actually burnt through so many resources, food and water-wise, trying to stay alive whilst organising my base. And I'm almost there. I've organised weapons, tools, and that's probably about it, and meds. Uh, there we go, got our steel rings. Well, so we're going to need 20 bricks, 20 iron plates. I know for a fact I've got these sitting around ready. Uh, there's my 20 bricks. There is my... Is that iron or is that steel? That's steel. I might only have 12 iron plates, which would not be good. Unless I've already cooked some up in my workbench here. Which I haven't. Okay, I cannot make that. How many do I need? Hmm, I need 8 of them. There we go. Bit of a waste of coins, but... Oh well. Where are the rest of them? There we go. Let's make our improved foundry. And let's stick it outside, I'm thinking. Can we place it on the floor? We can. Perfect. Let's stick it there. You know what? I kind of want to have all my forges out here. Let's stick that forge there. And we'll grab that one. Shove it there as well. So let's take a look at the recipes that we got here. So to make a steel ingot, we need one iron, one aluminium, one copper, and two coal. Okay, it is exactly the same as last day on earth. Exactly, exactly the same. 
And then for weapon alloy and guts, weapon alloys, we need chromite, which is currently not in the game, unfortunately. <sighs> oh well, we can start our steel production. We're just going to need to be getting a bit of copper, but however, I've got a load of copper ore, and copper ingots can be made in here. I'm just going to need to kind of start stepping up my charcoal production a bit. So I'm going to separate this into a stack of... Well, it's, um... Oh, I can't remember. It's seven. Seven charcoal turns ten planks into twenty charcoal. That was it. And they're going to split this as well. Get that into seven. And I'm going to need to get the planks in there. But I think that's going to about do it for this episode. Managed to get quite a bit done. Fought off the bandits, looted their stash, and completely remade my base. Kind of. Still got the core shell there. Redesigned the defences of my base, let's call it that. Right, hope you enjoyed. Goodbye.